CBB's Bedtime Story. Hello, I'm David. I'm here to read you a bedtime story all about a red person called Janet and a blue person called Bill. It's called The Smeds and the Smooze, and it's by Julia Donaldson and Axel Scheffler. By a lubular lake on a far-off planet, there lived a young Smed, and her name was Janet. Not far away, on a humpelty hill, there lived a young Smoo by the name of Bill. Janet, like all the Smeds, was red, and this is what her grandfather said. Never, never play with the Smoos. They sleep in holes, they wear strange shoes, they jump about like kangaroos. Never, never play with the smooths. Bill, like the other smooths, was blue. And these were the words of Grandmother Smoo. Never, never play with the smeds. They have strange hair upon their heads. They sleep in funny things called beds. Never, never play with the smeds. The Smeds, on their lake, liked nothing better than splashing about, getting wetter and wetter. But Janet grew bored with this watery play, and early one morning she tiptoed away. The Smooths jumped about on their humpelty hill. They bounced up and down, and it never stood still. But Bill was beginning to think, this is boring. So early one morning he set off exploring. Janet met Bill in the Warpular Wood, where the trockles grew tall and the glompoms smelled good. The two rubbed antenna and played all day long. She told him a story. He sang her a song. Then they climbed to the top of a gerbery coot and nibbled its juicy and jellyful fruit, till who should disturb them but Grandfather Smed shaking his fist as he angrily said, never, never play with a smoo. There's such a nasty shade of blue. For the hundredth time, I say to you, never, never play with a smoo. Grandmother Smoo was close behind, and this is how she spoke her mind. Never, never play with a smed. There's such a dreadful shade of red. I'll say again what I've always said, never, never play with a smed. Years went by on the far off planet. Janet missed Bill, and Bill missed Janet. But off they crept whenever they could to sing and play in the Warpular Wood. The two of them grew and decided to wed. But what do you think their grandparents said? Never, never marry a smoo. They're a beastly bunch. They're a crazy crew. They drink black tea. They eat green stew. Never, never marry a smoo. Never, never marry a smed. My dearest child, are you off your head? They drink pink milk. They eat brown bread. Never, never marry a smed. Janet and Bill stole out that night while their families slept and the squoon shone bright. They clambered into the Smed's red rocket. Grandfather Smed had forgotten to lock it. Bill pressed the button and Janet steered. When their families woke, they had both disappeared. The Smed's said, your Bill must have stolen our Janet and taken her off to a distant planet. The Smooths said, it's Janet who's stolen our Bill and lured him away from the Humpelty Hill. The Smooths climbed into their rocket of blue and they said to the Smeds, you'd better come too. Suspicious and scowling, they soared into space till they reached planet Vumjum, a dry, dusty place. The Vums had long arms which they waved in the air but they didn't have news of the runaway pair. The next stop was Lurgelstrop, covered in roses and watered by beasts with small eyes and long noses. They touched down on Grimbletosh, coated in grime. They searched planet Glurch 
and found nothing but slime. One morning, the Smoos found they'd run out of tea, so the Smeds shared their milk, which was pink as could be. Then Grandfather Smed said, my hair needs a trim, and Grandmother Smoo kindly cut it for him. They landed on Skloop, where the Skloopies wore kilts, then flew to Klaboo, where the Clabs walked on stilts. They searched all year long, then they searched longer still, but they didn't find Janet. They didn't find Bill. Alas, said the Smoos, and the Smed said, Alack, we have failed in our quest, we had better turn back. So they turned and flew home to their very own planet, and far down below them they saw Bill and Janet. The rocket touched down and they ran to the wood where their trockles grew tall and the glompom smelled good. And there in the glade, by the rocket of red, were the runaway Smoo and the runaway Smed. They'd got lost and flown home again, only to find that all of the others had left them behind. There was joy, jam, and jumping. Then Janet said, maybe you'd like to make friends with our dear little baby. A baby? A red one? A blue one? But no, that baby was purple from head to toe. They all hugged the smooth smed, their new baby brother, and Grandpa and Gran even hugged one another. They laughed and they splashed and they danced with delight, and they played with that baby from morning till night. They made him a rattle, they made him a flute, they fed him the fruit of the gerbery coot, then they sang by the light of the silvery squoon, and you can sing too if you make a platoon. Play with the smeds and play with the smooths. Play with whichever friends you choose. Then close your eyes and while you snooze, dream of the smeds and dream of the smooths. So Janet and Bill taught the rest of the smeds and the smooths that they can become best friends. What a beautiful message. And what a beautiful baby Janet and Bill had. Maybe you can give your friends a big hug next time you see them. I'll be back soon for another bedtime story, but until then, good night. For more bedtime stories, head to CBeebies and BBC iPlayer.